Welcome back to the channel. I'm back at Linwood Liquor Store here in Jackson, Tennessee. Now, you might have heard me say this time and time and time again. It's a good practice to go back into the stores because it's a good thing to have a good relationship with the store and the store owner. So let's go back into Linwood and see if we can find some good bottles at some great prices. Let's go. It is hot out there, sir. <laughs> it is hot out there. All right. We have a wild turkey voyage. We have that. We haven't opened this particular bottle up. I'm excited to do that because um, I heard that this is a fantastic pour. Now, this is probably one of the most expensive bottles I have on my shelf. Uh, and I'm excited to actually open that particular bottle. We have a Chattanooga whiskey. We have that, we have the Joseph Magnus family. We have a Widow Jane, Lucky 13, a Whistle Pig. We have the old Ezra back there. I don't have an old Ezra. We finally picked up the Jack Daniels Single Barrel, Barrel Proof Rye. I'm excited to actually pick that bottle up because I was looking for this bottle for a very long time. And I picked up the Knob Creek 12. Now, I know I paid just a little bit more than I wanted to for the Knob Creek 12, but um, I'm excited to have it because that bottle was very hard to find in the price range that I bought it. We have a Knob Creek 18. We have a Knob Creek 10 year, and it's a ride. All three of them are 100 proof. Now, the Knob Creek 12 was a decent pour. I wonder how the Knob Creek 10, the rye, I wonder how that is. I really am curious about the Knob Creek 10 year. But down at the bottom, they have a Woodford Reserve 121. They have a Larceny. They have a batch. I think that is 524. Larceny batch 524. We have a foolproof 1792. We have a bottled and bun 1792. We have a Jefferson's back there and a Willet purple top. And this Eliza Craig is a 524 also. So burr proof Eliza Craig B524. We have a Jack Daniel Sinatra back there. Okay, so let's go down the shelf and let's see if they have any new items that we might pick up today. We have a Sweden's Cold Steel. This is a great pour. Um, Jeff Arnett actually signed a few of my bottles. Uh, so great guy, great bottle of uh, whiskey. If you don't have it on your shelf, pick one up. 10 AC, Tennessee bourbon whiskey. I think that 10 AC is really Tennessee. We have a Stone Street. Haven't really heard of Stone Street. This is sitting at an 84 proof. Hmm. Very light. I don't know if you see that. Very young bottle. But if you know anything, eh, well, it's five years. It just looks light. But it says age five years. It's a small batch. Okay. We have the Barstown. This Barstown right here is a fantastic pour of bourbon. Um, so in my opinion, if you are looking to get into bourbon and you want to spend a little bit of money, I mean, not a lot of money, but like $50, $60, get this Barstown Original Series bottled and bun. You can't go wrong with this bottle. This is a fantastic pour, fantastic pour. I don't know anything about the Fusion, because I don't have this one yet, but it's 96 proof, and I don't have this one yet, which is a 96 proof also. <laughs> the Rod 3, I don't have this one, but it's a cigar series. 
I'm very interested in this bottle here because the cigar series, I do occasionally uh, smoke a cigar and I think this will be great when I do that. The rum cask, hey, this is, this is one I'm, I'm probably gonna pick up very soon. So if you have this bottle, let me know what you think about it. I'm pretty sure it's awesome. I'm pretty sure. The Yellowstone. Now, I was going to say I don't have a Yellowstone, but I do because one of my guys at the fire department actually gave me a bottle of Yellowstone and I'm excited about it because I don't have, I didn't have any Yellowstone, but now I do. So um, I appreciate you looking out for me. You know who you are. I appreciate you, brother. Don't have the new Riv multi rye yet. Um, sitting at 100 proof, age six years. I heard this this was a a good pour. Now, I don't know uh, multi rye. I don't think I have too many multi ryes on my shelf. So if you think this is a good bottle, let me know. I'm gonna probably swing back by and buy it, but let me know what you think about the new Riv Malted Rye. Make sure I sit it back up there. The Clayton James. Now we tasted the Clayton James here and the Clayton James, in my opinion, is very good. I had another uh, buddy of mine actually say, pick up the Clayton James. Now. It's a 90 proof bottle and I really didn't hear too much about this bottle, but when I actually taste it and they gave me a taste here at Linwood, this is a good pour. Uh, it's a very good pour for $37. You, you can't beat that for $37. It's something different. So I think you should actually pick that one up and put it on your shelf. And every time I see this bottle, Every time I see this bottle, you know I'm going to talk about it. The Evan Williams Bottled and Bond. The best bourbon that you can actually have on your shelf for under $20. The old granddad, 114. There's a rumor out there saying that this is going to be discontinued. I don't know if that is true or not, but just in case, I'm probably going to pick up one or two bottles just to have on my shelf just for backup just in case that does happen i don't know um really don't care to be honest with you but i'm just going to have a couple of bottles on my shelf just in case the old granddad for 29 dollars. this is a great bottle of uh bourbon great bottle of bourbon matter of fact every time i take this bottle over a friend's house we end up drinking it all and i always have to get a replacement so that's a very good bottle of bourbon. We have a Knob Creek products. The store pick is great. Um, the Knob Creek single barrel store pick is great. All right, let's see. We pretty much talk about all these. And okay, look what we got here. We have a Baby Jane. Now this is the first time I've seen this bottle here. Baby Jane. Don't know too much about this one. 2024 batch 34. Hmm. This is the first time I've seen a Baby Jane. So this is, this is probably going home with me today and it's sitting at $49 right next to the Widow Jane 10 year sitting at $78 I'm leaving Linwood liquor store here in Jackson Tennessee now I did not go into that store with a plan I just stopped by because they have always showed me love so I'm always going to show them support I walked away with three bottles the first bottle I walked away with is going to be the Baby Jane, Widow Jane. Now, this has to be a new bottle. I haven't heard too much about the Baby Jane, so 
I'm excited. I'm excited to try it. It's sitting at a 90 proof. So hopefully this is going to be a good pour. The second bottle I'm walking away with, the Knob Creek 10 year. Now this is going to be a rye whiskey. And if you've been following my channel, you know how I feel about rye. So I'm excited about this bottle because it's sitting at 100 proof. I don't have this on my shelf. So hopefully this is a pretty decent pour. The third bottle I walked away with. Now this is not a bourbon, but this bottle is very, very hard to find around here. I heard this is great mixed with lemonade. Um, so I picked this up today because it is hot outside. For those who haven't subscribed to the channel, look, I'm trying to get my numbers up and the only way I can do that is with your support. But for those who have already subscribed, I appreciate your support. Until then, I will see you on my next hunt. Let's go.